number of tasks need to be performed in each phase and for that to happen each phase is associated with one or more goals the phase simply delegates those tasks to its associated goals the packaging element in the pomred xml file that you see here will automatically assign the right goals for each of the phase without any additional configuration remember that this is the benefit of configuration over convention if the packaging element contains the value jar then the package fail phase will be bound to the jar goal in the jar plugin similarly for a war artifact pomred xml will bind the package to a war goal in the war plugin clean life cycle this life cycle handles the deletion of temporary files and generated artifacts from the target directory the clean life cycle defines three phases pre clean clean and post clean a phase in a clean life cycle is just an ordered placeholder in the build execution path for example the clean phase in the clean life cycle cannot do anything on its own and that's very important to remember in the maven architecture it has two key elements nouns and verbs both nouns and verbs which are related to a given project are defined in the pom file the name of the project the name of the parent project the dependencies and the type of packaging are called nouns plugins brings verbs into maven build system and they define what needs to be done during the build execution via its goal A plugin is a group of goal and each goal of a plugin can be executed on its own or can be registered as a part of a phase in a maven build life cycle. Let's take a look at the example. Here we are going to run the maven compile goal. As the name suggests, the compile goal compiles a source code. The compile goal identifies the java class under src main java and compiles it. and places the compiled classes under target classes folder goals in maven are packaged in plugins which are essentially a collection of one or more goals in the example that we just ran the compiler is the plugin that provides the goal compile the next example that we are going to run will introduce us to the clean goal Maven follows a well defined build life cycle when it builds tests and distributes an artifact. The life cycle constitutes a series of stages or steps that get executed in the same order independent of the artifact being produced. Maven refers to the steps in life cycle as phases. Maven has uh, the following three build life cycles. The first one is called the default that we are looking right now. This life cycle handles the compiling packaging and deployment of a maven project to better understand the build life cycle and its phases let's take a look at some of the phases associated with the default life cycle let's take the first one validate validate runs and checks to ensure the project is correct and that all the dependencies are downloaded and available do you remember whenever you run uh, maven clean install or maven clean it tries to download uh, some files for you that is what uh, the validate phase does for you the next one we are going to look at is compile that we already saw in uh, one of the demo where it compiles the source code and dumps it in target classes folder another important phase is called test the test phase runs all the unit tests using the whatever framework you have chosen j unit mockito or something else this step doesn't require the application to be packaged then we are going to look at package package assembles a compiled code into a distributable format such as jar or war file if you notice in your pomred xml right in the second or third line where it says packaging we always define what type of package we want a particular code to be uh, you know zipped in it could be a jar file war file or it could be just a maven plugin another one is called install the install 
phase install the package archive into a local repository the archive is now available for use by any project running on that machine the last one and the most important one is called deploy deploy pushes the build archive into a remote repository for use by other teams and team members because the default life cycle clearly defines the ordering of phases you can generate an artifact simply by running the command maven package or mvn package maven will automatically execute all the phases prior to the requested phases in the provided example maven will run phases such as compile and test prior to running the package phase this means the developers and the configuration manager only have to learn and use a handful of commands